Okay, we're back. Whoa. Everyone calls him Tails. He has to say that every time. Every time. That we come back for more LJ and J. And here we are. My favorite type of level. It's lovely and I love it. Yeah. I'm just skipping past the enemies at this point. I mean, who doesn't love a good ass raping in the city? See, I like. Oh my god. Fuck you guys. I like Sonic levels, because you get rewarded, or at least not punished for skipping past the enemies. But in Tails levels, they want you to kill the enemies. Well, yeah, that's the whole purpose of Tails. No, it's... Tails sucks. And I liked it better, at least in Sonic Adventure 1, where Tails just ran around like Sonic, but he flies instead. Yo. Oh, Although, it's failing. it'd be extra hilarious. Uh, pretty much the reason why they have the robots is so that they could have a dark side version of Tails, which is his robot. And it'd yeah. actually be really hilarious if Eggman just ran around, because if you look at him in the child garden, he actually does run around. And he is yep. so disproportionate, and so <laughs> retarded, it's just so fucking funny to watch him. It would be just a non-stop laugh, and just a riot to play as Eggman. The game would go from a uh, ah. genre to a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Eggman should have his own fucking game of him just waddling around. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the weird thing is he looks like he would waddle, but he actually has really lanky arms and legs. So he actually is just like doing his thing, and he's like just as fast as like Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and all that. Which I don't understand that. How the fuck is he badass Dr. Eggman? Because he's got uh, really long arms and legs. Just as fast as the fastest thing on Earth, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I mean, I, uh, I, you know, um, if you if uh, yeah, you look I'm at saying. the if you if you calculate if you calculate it, it turns out he doesn't Sonic doesn't run as fast as the speed of sound. Yeah, you know, so I saw that game three episode two. Shout out to Matt Pat. He's yeah. fucking awesome. Okay, I gotta say. Yeah, some people will harshly disagree with me on this, but um, personally, I don't really watch Game Theory much anymore. It seems like it seems like what really made me stop watching as much was when he was oh fucking a, god damn it, it's just it was when he started doing like all those Five Nights at Freddy's theories for sure. Like those, I definitely didn't like those as much. Yeah, I'm about to die. Yeah, you are, dude. And it's just like a lot of his theories like come off as more like fan theories nowadays, and less like I don't know. His theories used to be like a lot more like hard evidence supported. Like he used to do a lot more math, mathematical type theories, yeah. ones based off of statistics and stuff. You and died. I fucking died. <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> but like. You know, a large majority of his episodes nowadays are not are not structured that way, actually. It's true. And some people may like that better, but... No, I don't. I personally agree with you, actually. Yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's, I felt like, was like, I don't know, one of the things that were making him... Oh yeah, there's a rocket over here. It was one of the things, like, those were, like... I don't know, he started doing a lot more games where people like to hear his fan theories more. And I just know that like when he's when he started doing like a couple Five Nights at Freddy's theories, um he fucking had like a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's fans, like a lot of them. Fucking, you know, basically jump on the bandwagon for his channel. And so like he couldn't refuse doing like all of these fucking Five Nights at Freddy's theories. Yo. And um they were kinda assholes about it too, like the Five Nights at Freddy's fan base. Yo. So it was just like kind of a whole fucking thing. I mean not to fucking ramble about some other YouTuber in our whole thing. I mean, you know, Matt Pat's gotta do what he's gotta do. I I don't fucking hold anything against him, but I do hold a little bit against Five Nights at Freddy's people who like kept like coming up and 
commenting all up on his videos and harassing him about getting out new Five Nights at Freddy's videos. Yeah. Kind of an asshole move. But, like, it's not like an individual did that. The problem was, I really subscribed to the uh, idea that there really isn't that much more backstory and hidden whatever, you know, like, secrets to be told and theorized about Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, um, I feel like there was... Oh, God! Um, God damn it, dude. <laughs> dude! Dude, it's so glitchy! It's so hard to walk on those things! But no, whatever. I feel like, you know, there was just a few little things that were put in there to add an air of mystery, and it ended up it blowing up way out of proportion. Oh, yeah, and for sure. And it just sure. kept going uh, as the games kept coming out, you know? I almost and wonder if, if it started out the way you're describing it, but the creator started adding, like, more shit to just, like, make people fan theorize about as yeah, people started fan theorizing more. Because that's part of the reason why he got so big. It was because, you know, Markiplier was playing it, he gave it good reviews, because not only was it challenging, but it was also scary, and it, uh, yeah. made different... It was like a whole new, uh, gameplay mechanic, right? One yeah. that hadn't been commonly used, but was used before. What? Was no! Alright. Where the fuck did that piece of rope just I come? just, I don't even question it anymore. I'm just going okay. through the level, James. Alright. Oh, there finally, the goal. Again. Boom. Anywho, um. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it blew up. It was like, it was a novel game. It wasn't like. I had never seen that exact gameplay before. Personally, again, this is like hugely opinion. Ignore my rank E, by the way. Um. <laughs> I think it's, like, the gameplay bores me, personally. I don't like it. And yeah. I, I never found it, like, all that scary. <laughs> like, ugh, I just don't know. Maybe it's because I never personally played it that I don't find it scary. I mean, it could be, like, um, oh, I know no, because I don't, I'm not gonna buy the game, because it's, like, boring looking as shit. Like, everything about it bores the hell out of me. I had to buy the game because my siblings actually went on my Steam account and bought it without my permission. <laughs> oh, so. I already found one. What, what? That's funny, though. That's, uh, that sounds exactly like something your siblings would do. Oh, that pissed me off because I thought for sure that I hadn't saved my credit card information on Steam just for that purpose, right? Yeah. And then, like, one day I get on Steam and then all of a sudden, oh, you have Five Nights at Freddy's and blah blah blah, and it's like, <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. It didn't even fucking ask me or anything, it was just. Yeah. Oh god. Come on, knuckles. Yeah. Whatever, it's all good, so I have that and we might Look, play it. It's just like um point and click gameplay in general. Um bores the living fuck out of me. I feel like every time I fucking would die on that game would just be a huge tedious mess. And like I understand that there's actually a certain amount of skill and challenge to it, like managing your shit and whatever. Yep. But to me it's just like, oh, boring. Fuck that. I mean, I do agree, a lot of point-and-click adventure games are boring, but Five Nights at Freddy's is not like an adventure game. No, it's I know like that. It's like a point-and-click to like, save Resource management ass. games also bore the hell out of me, though, so it's just like, eh, whatever. Like, just the whole idea behind the game. There's no, there's no part of the game that I find a lot of appeal in. Yeah. Like, Plus and, and, and I'm not trying to be that guy who's like, no, it's just an objectively bad game. Like, I understand that there's an appeal to it, it just doesn't appeal to me personally. Yeah. You know, I could have found that a lot faster if I just broke that box to begin with. Or if you just didn't suck at this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on! Come on, Knuckles, get up the... Get up the thing, you know what, I'm, you know what I want you to do. You should have had me play this game. Nobody would know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would do good at this game. I feel like it was just the fact that you don't play as much as many first-person shooters anymore that like really made you shit the bed on the world. 
Hey man, it was funny as hell though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was probably our most fun playthrough that we've actually aired, honestly. Because it was just really funny. It was really funny watching you mess up. Do you think an X was skull? Fuck. You're welcome, by the way. What? Okay, this is ridiculous. Is it up? Are you telling me that it is up? I think... Or is it down? Because I'm pretty uh, sure you have to go to the top floor think. to get it down to the bottom floor, so... Is it bottom floor? Yeah. It's not. Yeah, there is. There's a, there's a three button. Oh, god damn it. I swear okay. there's one. This right is right here. Right. There's a three button. I Bottom told you. Floor. There you go. Alright. Uh, yeah! Pretty sure it's down here. So, water powered lift wall. What? Oh, okay. Oh, it's right there. Um. I don't know. Just go in there. Dig in there. Yay! Awesome. That is an episode. Is it truly? It is truly. Wow, I bet there's a cutscene though. Did you ever think of that? Ah, and I gotta be. Dude. So look at me. I'm. I. It. It all evens out to me getting probably about a D average, but I. <laughs> <laughs> probably a C average. I got a, a, a few <clears throat> Bs. I feel like. Sheesh. They're always Sheesh. A lot of around when you don't need them. The when you don't so need them. Holding up to his ear. For some reason, I'm it's not even his ear, it's like his cheek. Well, it's a radio, so like you, I guess he's holding it up to his mouth. Oh, okay. With his giant, freakish gloved hands. It's not even in his hand, it's just kind of like floating there. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of looks like a block of texture. Yeah, nice. Okay, one thing I did like is that when you get an upgrade on a character, it shows on their body and it even shows in the cutscenes. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, where are you going? Where are you oh, going? Right, <laughs> what? Right yeah. No, you're not. You're and his mouth is still moving. To the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was great. Hey. Bye, hey, tails. <laughs> He's fucking gone, dude. <laughs> the president must be over there. Oh, I actually do go. kind of. I like this a lot better than the fucking uh, robot levels. No, same. Okay. So. I'm just gonna. LJ's gonna just take a nap on go the, in the middle of the freeway. Well, I'm trying to go backwards, you know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, bye everybody. <laughs>